What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I've got a Cap Pikachu team, courtesy of Zolrain. Now Zolrain played this team in a, best of, in a private best of three tournament that I was also in, so at some point you're going to see that match versus me with him using this team. But what really drew me to this is not just the Pikachu that I get to put in the thumbnail, but is also this very unique Zacian set. It's got the standard play rough, iron head which turns into behemoth blade, protect, yada yada yada. But it's Stellar Terra with Terra Blast. And what that does, it's very weird, okay? Stellar Terra Terra Blast is actually a 100 power move, not 80. But it only gets the 20% boost from Stellar Terra because you don't actually become like Stellar type, you like keep your typing, but you get the Terra boost, which is like a 20% boost. So the first time it's 120. After that, it just goes to being a 100 power move. And also every time you use it, you lose one stage to your attack and one stage to your special attack. But where it really comes in clutch is it is super effective against anything that's terrestrialized, which is so powerful. Like something that fears one of Zacian's stabs, so it's like, I'm gonna defensive Terra. Nope, I'm gonna offensive Terra, and I'm gonna Terra Blast you to Kingdom Come. We also have some somewhat unique sets on here. We've got a Choice Scarf Chen Pao with Icy Wind, not the normal set you would normally see. We've got a Gouging Fire here, which is mostly normal. It's Speed Booster Energy with Howl, but it's got Raging Fury. Uh, Raging Fury is Fire Outrage. Uh, and then obviously there's Pikachu with just Pikachu stuff, Light Ball making it really strong. Y'all love Pikachu, right? We've got a Pelipper for Wide Guard and Tailwind support. Pelipper is a good Pokemon. And we've got Basket Legion, who I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, this one doesn't have Aqua Jet, but otherwise it's the standard set with Wave Crash, Protect, Last Respects, Mystic Water, Terra Water. Just do big water damage in the rain with your Swift Swim. I'm super excited to play this team. Let's jump on into it. Alright, we've got a Zamazenta team with Galarian Moltres, Chen Pao, Pelipper, Rillaboom, and Fluttermane. A uh, pretty common mons to pair with Zamazenta. Alright, what is our best way of getting through a Zamazenta? We don't have Sacred Sword. Oh, uh, we do. We do have Sacred Sword on Chen Pao. That's good. Uh, Pikachu could also do a lot of damage to it, I'm sure, if we can... Um, get into a position to pull that off. I want to lead Pikachu, I think. But who do I want to bring it with? Because Pikachu, it can cancel the fake out from Rillaboom and get me some damage right away. Maybe with Zacian right away. If I take out everything around Zamazenta with Zacian, Zacian, Zacian? I will say it differently every time. Um, Gouging Fire with... I mean, Burning Bulwark would be nice, but it can't really hit Zamazenta consistently otherwise. Maybe the Rain Squad. But Chen Pao would be nice too. Okay, I could bring Pelipper and Chen Pao and just not have Basque Legion. Yeah, Basque Legion doesn't seem that strong here. They got Grassy Glide, they got Sucker Punch, they got, I mean, maybe Moltres also has Sucker Punch, who knows? Just having a ghost feels nice. But this is a ghost, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Plus the Sash on Pelipper giving us a little bit more flexibility. I think this can work. Do I have the utmost confidence in Pikachu? Uh, yes. And that's a decent card, okay. Could get the Bax's Calibur to like, look at you, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna judge, it's a card. Fluttermane, Zamazenta lead versus Pikachu and Zacian. We get our sword boost first, then they get their shield boost, and then the Fluttermane has a booster energy, and yes, I did start saying that before it actually happened. Speed boosted. Okay. Well. Not looking too good for Pikachu. But Zacian threatens that Fluttermane really hard, so I think maybe we just fake out. hit a play rough on Zamazenta just to get some chip. I don't fit. oh. Are they going for a Terra on Zamazenta to worry about the sword move? That's cool. I like that you did that. Now I can hit you even harder. Terra Blast can hit you really hard. 
Okay, they did not protect Fluttermane, which was what I was predicting, so we may just... Thunderwave? Thank you! I love that. Okay. Pikachu going off. Play rough doing... Not too much. But now we got Helping Hand, Stellar Terra Blast. Get rid of that Zamazenta, now. I'm not even thinking about if there's a better play. Just delete it. No swaps, that's great. I don't think they would protect the Zamazenta here. I think they probably understood that I expected Fluttermane to protect, but they didn't understand that I have Lightning Rod, which is like the only thing Pikachu does. All right, Helping Hand, show me no protect. That would make this awkward. Oh, they've got Hex on Fluttermane, I gotcha. That's not gonna do too much since I'm not paralyzed. And Terra Blast, hopefully this knocks it out right off. Just outright. Gone? Gone, yes! Who said you were the better dog, huh? <laughs> uh, the tides are turning. The tides are turning. Zacian is on the way up. But its attack isn't. We just gave up our intrepid sword boost to do that. I'd say it's worth it. And we gave up our Terra to do that. Eh, it's fine. Okay, there's a monkey here. Whatever. We can double protect that, get some health back. I could even swap Pikachu if I want. I don't want, but I could. I'll just protect and... I mean, I would anticipate you to fake out Zacian, right? So Pikachu could try to do something. And if Pikachu goes down, then it goes down a soul. Yeah, I'm gonna just raw thunder and pr just protect the Zacian. Cause that's definitely where the fake out is going, right? You don't fake out a Pikachu. Oh, you taunt a Pikachu. You don't fake out anything. And we hit a Thunder Raw! And it almost deletes Fluttermane! Oh, wow! That's awesome. Okay, it's a high horsepower in Zassian that we're trying to throw. Okay. Well, that Fluttermane with Taunt, Thunder Wave, Hex, that doesn't seem very threatening. Oh, I can't helping hand now. That's what I really want to do. But I guess I will follow up with a thunder after a stellar Terra behemoth blade into that monkey. They just throw a hex. They're not concerned about Pikachu at all. Though I do worry that we might be in high horsepower range if we don't connect both of these moves. Only neutral. That doesn't KO. But plus one thunder? Come on, Pikachu. You got this. Yes! <laughs> it's a crit! Pikachu! <laughs> I love you, Pikachu! <sighs> oh, what do you got left? Not much, right? Oh, you got a Chen Pao. That's pretty threatening. I think both of your mons could be faster, right? Let me see how much speed is on this. 207, no, we're faster than your Chen Pao. You are not safe. I'm gonna drop a Thunder on the Fluttermane. No. We've got Scarf Chen Pao, but is it max speed? No. So what we need, yeah, I'll, I'll Thunder the Fluttermane. We'll see if we can hit another one. And I'll go for Behemoth Blade into Chen Pao. I don't think it would protect this turn. Oh, they finally attacked the Pikachu. And it's not enough. Pikachu's just good. Yep, we're faster than you. Take this. Down to Sash. That is fine. Our Chen Pao can clean this up. And I swear, they double down into the Pikachu. Wow. Um, can our Chen Pao clean this up? I guess with Sucker Punches. Yeah, we're fine. Just sucker punch in the flutter main to lock that slot down and blade the Chen Pao again. Easy peasy. <laughs> because since we're adamant and not jolly, the flutter main could be faster because of its booster speed, so I need to sucker punch. But that is perfectly fine with me. 
And we fail because you're going for... Oh, and then they try to sucker punch our Chen Pao. Oh uh, yeah, they go for Thunder Wave. That's your play. If you get full paras for the rest of the game, you can eventually take me down. And that's one. Alrighty. You're on your way there. Now I think I want to throw Sucker Punch into their Chen Pao and Behemoth Blade into their Fluttermane. Because now they're just going to Thunder Wave again, right? Yeah. Sucker Punch takes you out. And then you presumably Thunder Wave again. You just really wanted Pikachu out of the way so you could spam Thunder Wave, huh? <laughs> great. That's great. And then we get to move. Yeah, you weren't going to lock us down forever. Goodbye. Boom. Pikachu putting in work here. There was a dog helping, I guess. But mostly Pikachu, I think. Pikachu got all the KOs, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that's probably what happened. Good game. Alright, this opponent is number 330 on the ladder. That's a little bit high. I'm gonna bring Pikachu. I'm gonna fight one of the top players in the world with a Pikachu. And it's gonna work, too. This is not a bad matchup for Pikachu. Pikachu's Terra Fairy? It, ac it actually can wall Maridon. I'm gonna put it in the back. If they try to play games with their Maridon, which they will if I bring Zacian first, they're gonna be in trouble. Alright, um, I don't have anything to threaten Iron Hands. Period. But I have... Howl Gouging Fire! I like that! Howl Plazassian seems like the lead. Uh, bring Pikachu. Pelipper... Doesn't seem great, but it has a Sash. Chen Pao... With Scarf is... The last three are awkward. We have Wide Guard... And Tailwind. But they have a Trick Room mode they could pop if they want to. Which they might, because Zacian's faster than everything on their team, unless that Urshpu is Scarf. Uh, I don't want to put up Rain. I don't want Pelipper. I think I want Chen Pao. Sucker Punch can be good if we can get Farigaraf off the field. But their two powerful electric types really scare me, with Maridon and Hands. We don't have a good way of dealing with Hands if we can't target it with Play Rough, and then they could just Terra. Oh, they don't even have a Trainer card? This person's full serious mode. Oh no. Okay. Water Shifu and Farigarath. That's not too bad. I have options. I have blow up Farigarath is what my brain is telling me to do. And I should be able to. Do I have to Terastalize to do it? Because I think a plus two Behemoth Blade... Would that do it? Oh, they don't have any Intimidate. Is there anything else I would want to Terra? I would want to Terra Pikachu. But Zacian out, and then having Pikachu in the back might be okay. Yeah, I think I, think I have to go for it. Stellar, Behemoth Blade, Howl. And plus getting an attack boost on Gouging Fire for later would be nice. I don't think anything goes down to Urshifu. Like, if, if they are even a Scarf Urshifu and move first. But I need to stop Trick Room, because I brought fast stuff. Alright. Shiny, sparkly turtle hat for the dog. And what do you got? A Terra of your own? No, just you turning it? Fine. That doesn't do anything. I don't care. Go ahead, you turn. Go into your Trick Room Sweeper. I'll blow up your Trick Room Setter. Who's this? Oh, it's Maridon. Well, I'm faster than Maridon anyway. I don't want Trick Room up. Both of my mons are faster than your Maridon, unless you're Scarf or something. Ooh, Electric Seed. Oh, it's gonna live. Oh, it's gonna live now. That's why they did that. Okay. Yeah, Electric Seed is common on these comps. I didn't really think about that. Like, they could've got play rough there. That would've been devastating. With all the power I'm putting into this? 
isn't enough. Oh no. Oh, there's a trick room. Okay, that's fine, because you don't you don't know. You don't know. The question is do I Terra Blast them or do I just play rough? I've got plus two attack. I think play rough is good. And then I have to bring in Pikachu. I'm not protect I'm gonna hope they forgot about Pikachu. Cause like what can they do? They they would have to hard swap, right? And that's just destroying your own momentum. Yeah, this is fine. Worst thing they can do is like Terra Ground their Farigaraph and Terra Blast the Gouging Fire Slot, deleting Pikachu before the electric move goes off, and then deleting Zacian with Electro Drift. No, well, they didn't do that, so I think we did something good. Farigaraph swaps out to Bear. We now know their whole team. Oh, uh, and I'm terrified of it. Okay, they've got Bear. That's that's terrible. But we've got Pikachu with a hat. And they drink it. No, Pikachu! <laughs> okay. Okay. Pikachu. I guess I could. You're telling me I could have just protected that slot and attacked your. Well, I got rid of your Maridon. That's good. This is going pretty well. We've got a KO. You've got your bear in with the burn, which is like really bad. Like, really bad. I don't think you would have Earthquake, though. So you're gonna have to pick and choose. I don't lose much from a double protect here, but... I would gain so much if Farigraph went down. Well, they can pick their KO next turn. There's so much Trick Room. I need to double protect. I... Oh, I... No, oh, Burning Bolt again. I feel bad about this play, but I kind of have to. There's so much Trick Room. And on the off chance that they do go for Helping Hand Earthquake, I need to not lose something to that. If they are willing to KO their own Farigaraph, that would be so huge. Okay, it's the bear into normal. I don't really get that. Yeah, and it's a helping hand. Is it just a facade into something? That seems like an interesting play. And then Gouging Fire is, is going to be slower than their Urshifu, which is good. They facade the Zacian. What kind of reads are you trying to make? Do that again, I dare you. Yeah, not much, not much play here except go for Terra Blast and go for Breaking Swipe. I should be able to take out the Farigaraph with Breaking Swipe, I hope. Um, oh, actually Chen Pao is gonna move. Chen Pao's actually faster than their Urshifu. So if Trick Room is still up and Chen Pao's out, Urshifu gets to move first. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's still anyone's game. It depends on what they go for here. Yeah, Headlong Rush makes sense. Goodbye, Zacian. But getting an attack drop is great. Their defense drop is good, because I can get some decent damage off. Um, there's no way they can knock out Gouging Fire here. They do have Psychic. It's probably their strongest move to do something to me. That's not too bad. And we don't take out the Giraffe! Well, that's like the worst thing ever. Hmm. Well, there's no way he knows my Chen Pao doesn't have a sash, right? He saw Pikachu isn't sashed. 
He should assume I'm Sash. He should also assume I'm going for a Protect with Chen Pao. But I'm not. Because I'm crazy. I'm going for a breaking spike. I'm not protecting anything. Okay, the giraffe swaps. Rock slide. Oh, who dodged? Gouging fire dodged? Chen Pao lives? That's awesome. Get an attack drop on that Urshifu. Now just don't flinch. Ow! Oh boy, okay. That flinch really hurts. Um, I'm locked into Sacred Sword. I click that on Urshifu and I Breaking Swipe again, right? Yeah, that's what I have to do. They swap the bear, that's good. Oh, this might work. Because they're going to attack Chen Pao assuming they're faster, but they're not. They take all this damage for free, then they take Chen Pao. Then I get a breaking swipe that probably won't be enough. Oh, I don't know. Can I knock out the bear with a breaking swipe? Ugh, not that one. Alright, that's in breaking swipe range. But they have Ursaluna. Chen Pao is no longer on the field. This is cutting it really close, but I think I'm going to lose. I don't think Breaking Swipe does enough to that bear. And I can't protect because Surging Strikes will hit me, and I think two sets of Surging Strikes KOs Gouging Fire from here. If I click Raging Fury... No, my only hope is Breaking Swipe KOs Ursaluna from here. I really don't think it does. Surging Strikes should do enough. I was at, what, 149? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to take another set of this. I have to go for an attack. And it has to be Breaking Swipe. And it has to KO! No! Alright, good game, opponent. That came down to the wire. Wow. Oh my goodness. And yeah, Headlong Rush should probably do it. Yeah, there it goes. Good game. Woo! That was a really good game. If only Ferrigraph had gone down! Oh, great plays. Great plays with the bringing in the for the Electric Seed. But go get a trainer card, man. Alright, Chen Pao, Dragonite, Zacian. Ooh, Zacian versus Zacian. They got an Umbreon, a Pelipper, an Urshifu, probably water. Uh, Pow Knight, Zacian can handle. Zacian, Pelipper Basque Legion can handle. Chen Pao, I guess Zacian handles Chen Pao. I guess Zacian, Zacian's really good in this matchup, if I'm being honest. No Intimidate. Pikachu seems terrible, like god awful, but I have to bring it. Like, come on. Uh, and Basque Legion, this seems like a game for Basque Legion. I think I will go with. Zacian Pikachu on lead, Basque Legion Pelipper in the back. I'm gonna have to focus down getting rid of Chen Pao so Basque Legion can sweep in the end game. Yeah, I think that's the way I need to play this. Because I don't see Pow Knight being the mode they go with. They could do Chen Pao and Zacian. They could do Pelipper Urshifu. They don't have a trainer card. I don't remember the rank, but this person's also very high up on the ladder, like top 200 or something. Wait, they go Pow Knight? No way. No way. Really?
Alright, I don't mind uh, double protect here. Do I? I just want to see what you're up to. Yeah, I, I just want to protect and see what they're up to. Because they're going to burn Terra, but it could be Ghost Chen Pao. Could be normal Dragonite. It is normal Dragonite. Great. I see a Terra Blast in your fusion. After whiffing an E speed into a Basque Legion. Or something like that. Chen Pao just protects. Alright, we burn their protect. We learned the speed tier between them and Zacian and Pikachu, but none of that's surprising. Pikachu, your hat falling down? <laughs> You're so cute. They really attacked the Pikachu. Really. Alright, who do they have to swap into a Behemoth Blade? Pelipper, I guess. Good luck. Yeah, the Heat Blade seems good there, and then backing out into Basque Legion. I can Terra Blast the Dragonite later. Like, the Dragonite's not immediately threatening if it can only extreme speed, which is presumably their choice band, right? It'll be a threat later, but not right this second. Alright, okay, and they just leave Chen Pao in to take this. Maybe they followed up with something to catch Basque Legion. Maybe this is like a crunch or a throat chop. Of course they have Sash. That's the normal thing to have. Um, what just happened? Oh no. Okay. Uh, I, I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. Wow, what do I even do? Zassian was so crucial to my endgame and I didn't think it was threatened. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could sucker punch my Basque Legion, but you'd have to worry about Aqua Jet. So I'm gonna say you don't do that. I'm gonna throw a Weather Ball in that slot. Just to be safe, I guess I'll tear a water and I'll wave crash the Dragonite. Oh my goodness. This... Whew! I'm not giving up. Alright. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not out of this. I had a couple bad turns. No, I had one unlucky thing happen. <laughs> oh goodness. They still have Zazzy. Now, if I get some reads right, this might turn out okay. Like that, that's fine. You can protect that and just what, extreme speed into Pelipper then? Finally connected one of those, huh? Fine. I am definitely gonna delete your Dragonite. Your Dragonite is not going to like this. Of course I have to play games with Chen Pao now. Um, they could just... Am I in Sucker Punch range? I doubt it. What four moves do you run if you run Sheer Cold? You probably drop Sacred Sword for Sheer Cold. Because yeah, why would you need Sacred Sword if you have Sheer Cold? That's how you beat the Body Press bots. Yes, yeah, so you have Sucker Punch, one of the Ice moves, probably Ice Spinner, I would guess. Yeah, so that just hits Pelipper, and you Sucker Punch Basque Legion. No, you Sucker Punch Pelipper. Play Rock Basque Legion? No. I'll go for a Tailwind with Pelipper. No, there's no reason to Sucker Punch Pelipper. You would use your other move, your Ice move. Or hit it with... Zassian. I'll throw a Weather Ball at Chen Pao just in case. I 
And I'll attack the Zacian with Wing Press. Zacian Swap. Into what? That was bait? You baited me into attacking your Pelipper. And Sucker Punch KO. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's probably a Rocky Helmet Pelipper. They weren't certain Sucker Punch would KO. And so they wanted a bunch of extra recoil to make sure I go down. All right. That makes sense. All right, so now my win condition. Always got to pay attention to the win condition. My win condition is... Well, they don't have Sash Pelipper. They don't have Terra left. They ought to be scared of Pikachu. This could be a double protect from them, meaning I can get Tailwind. While I fake out... somebody. Um, they would either protect both, or not. If they don't protect, I can't win. That's not true. I'll Thunder Pelipper, just in case they don't protect that one. Yeah, Zacian definitely protects. They don't want to risk Zacian in any way. And Pelipper also protects. Fine. That's fine. Because now I get Tailwind. And how many turns of Rain are left? This might not be over. This might not be over, fellas. Two turns of Rain left, that's not enough. But it'll have to be. Weather Ball and Disassian with a Helping Hand boost either does it or doesn't. Come on, Pelipper. I know you got this. Come on, Pelipper. You got this. You do not got this, Pelipper. <gasps> dodge! A dodge! Pikachu dodges! And Weather Ball into Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. Eat it! Oh. Well. Huh. This is no longer winnable at 1 HP. Come on, Pelipper! The Zacian was so low! Uh, what was the play then? Double? No, even if I double it... Because they took out Pikachu... Um, they throw and try to stall out Weather with one, and I get a confusion on the Pelipper, which they don't protect for some reason. Or they go for a play rough and miss the play rough, and I get a confusion and they hit themselves. I, one of those things happen. But they just go for Behemoth Blade because they know what they're doing. Okay. Man! Ah, uh, alright. The comeback was possible, but after that sheer cold, I mean, what do you what did you expect me to do? It, my Zacian could have done so well against their back end, too. Alright. Well, good game, but go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got a Shadow Rex. Uh, they've got Whimsicott, they've got Female and Dee Dee, maybe they have Expanding Force. Um, so Fake Out isn't going to be the play. They've also got Chiyu, Water Pond, and an Urshifu of some kind. Impossible to say which. So Basque Legion has the trouble of the Ogre Pond. Our Pelipper has Wide Guard, which could be good. Maybe we go Pikachu Pelipper trick them into going for Indeedee. Then we can get our either match Tailwinds or something. Zassian in the back. Uh, Chen Pao I don't want to use because it's only dark move is Sucker Punch. It doesn't work in this case. And Gouging Fire... Gouging Fire is not bad. Yeah, Gouging Fire is like fine, but not super immediately threatening to anything. So yeah, it's, it's not the best. I have the right four. I don't know if I have the right order. They don't have Intimidate, so Zacian in the lead would be fine, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I want Pelipper on lead. Okay, because they could really accelerate the game. If they just lead in Didi and the horse and just go for Expanding Force, and I don't have Pelipper out front, I just immediately lose. 
so I need to lead Pelipper. And they need to get a trainer card. No joke. Alright, Whimsicott Ogre Pond. Not what I expected, but not bad. We could match Tailwinds, but we have to worry about Encore. So I kind of want to just attack with Pelipper. And Pikachu. Honestly? I don't have anything against doubling into Ogre Pond. If they go for Terra... I mean, if they just delete my Pikachu, I mean... Good call, you were afraid of Pikachu. Uh, they just Moonblast Pelipper. I think they're probably doubling Pelipper then. Maybe I can get a Para here. That would be huge. Do not get a para. But I am faster than their Ogre Pond with Pikachu. And I think I can KO from that range. So that's good. Problem is, uh. Ogre Pond is terrifying. Do I lead do I go into Basky Legion now? Where they would tailwind and maybe bait them? into a Horn Leech. They know Pikachu can KO them. Go for Zassy in here. Yeah, I, I want to put Zassy in out because that's a big scary threat for them to worry about. And then I can Thunder and Protect, hopefully. Hopefully. This could go really badly for Pikachu, or Pikachu could get a huge critical knockout here. If I were them, I would be more afraid of the big scary Sword Doggo Legendary. Yeah, they go for Tailwind. They do not Terra, so they're respecting Pikachu. And yes, they do it! Yes! They think they might be able to live a Thunder. I don't think so. I've got Pikachu. Boom! Light ball. Okay, Pikachu gets a KO. We traded Pelipper, which was kind of like really important, and we lost speed control, which is kind of bad. They bring out Calyrex. They definitely Encore Zacian and then Astral Barrage, and we lose. Um, they may not have Encore. Yeah, on, on a team with Indeedee, I'm gonna say they don't have Encore. Oh, they could have Fake Tears. I'm gonna launch a Thunder into Calyrex. And a Behemoth Blade. They have fake tears. This is going to delete both of my Pokemon, and then I immediately lose, right? Yeah, uh, editor, uh, you want, you want to speed this one up? Alright, a Koridon team with Fluttermane, Amoongus, Raging Bolt, Tornadus, and Chiyu. Well, we have Pelipper. We have Pelipper. We can turn off the sun. And we have Pikachu, which in theory could wall Raging Bolt. Although nowadays they usually run Snarl, which is gonna beat Pikachu a lot faster than Thunder beats Raging Bolt. But it could like redirect a Thunderclap at the late game or something. In which case we should probably go the Pelipper Basque Legion route. I also really like Zacian. Especially if we have Pelipper like in the back. So maybe it's Pikachu Zacian? Pelipper. The last one? I still don't know. I don't know. Like, I thought Basque Legion maybe, but they do have quite a few water resists, like even if I get rain. And I might not guarantee rain. But I'm looking at Chen Pao with its Sucker Punch. And Ice Spinner. And Sacred Sword. Oh, it's good. It's pretty good. 
and boosting the power of Zacian's moves, maybe, in a, in a clutch scenario? No Intimidate on their side. Have I seen an Intimidate all day? I've gotten some weird matchups today. But I'm using Pikachu, so I'm probably my opponent's weirdest matchup of the day. I would hope. Oh, Talon Master J with the Talon Flame. All right, all right, you're true to yourself. I got it. Why didn't you bring a Talon Flame? Talon Flame would work on this team. Why do you have Tornadus instead? Hm. Okay, it's an immediate Flutter Coridon. Speed boosting Fluttermane. I see no reason not to just fake out Coridon and Behemoth Blade. I could also swap in Pelipper and like do some gaming. I don't know. If they double protect, I don't see why they would double protect. Might be safer for me to double protect. Feel out what they're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Battle with that's a W for Pikachu. Let's go. We got them. We got them, guys. Talon Master, get out of here. Listen, 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 guys. When you've had a day like this, you take what you can get. That is a big fat W for Pikachu. Take that, take that triangle look L looking thing off your hat, Pikachu, and replace it with a W because you got. Hold on, let me check my notes. Two dubs today. Let's go. Thank you so much, Zolrain, for making this team. I had a blast. I didn't exactly win a lot. I didn't I didn't win very much, but like, okay, the sheer cold that hit, I had a good chance if that didn't happen. The Cali S completely destroyed me. That was my fault. That wasn't even Pikachu's fault. I wasn't gonna win that with any team. Or at least not this team. I didn't play that right. There was that very close match against that Maridon and the Bear that came down to the wire, so that could have gone either way. So like, Pikachu overall, I would say performed really well. Now there's some changes I would make with this team, but I'm not going to go over that. Uh, there's the rental code in the corner. I suggest you try it, because like, who else is making a Pikachu rental code? Like, go ahead and grab this. Uh, but anyways, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.